Alrighty, welcome back everyone. We just broke down kind of an interesting conversation, Texas versus Florida. Which of these states is going to have a bigger ba uh, stake in this college football season? I tend to lean Florida has better options at their disposal, but Texas has a ton of options, so absolutely someone in there could make a big time run. But let's get into my playoff predictions. We are going to pick the 12 teams that I think are going to make it into the field, the teams that I think are going to be moving on to the Final Four, the championship, and then finally my national champion for this year, definitely a very difficult thing to do so spare me just a little bit here but I will go through all of my picks here and let's start with the 12 teams that I have getting into the field I don't need to explain the top four teams those are the teams that I have winning those conferences and that's the order that I have them going in so I don't think I need to explain that too too much Texas Oregon and Penn State I all have as 11 win teams in the regular season they're likely all in. I don't think there's a question there. Now you get to LSU, and that's when kind of the questions start. So I do think LSU is going to win a couple of huge games this year. I am betting on them probably more than I'm betting on pretty much any other team in the country because of some of the questions that they have on the defensive side of the ball. But I do think it's going to be a remarkable team. I think Brian Kelly has learned from last year. I don't think he's going to let another elite offense get in the way of them possibly or a terrible defense actually getting in the way of them possibly getting to a playoff this upcoming year so I do have them getting in at 10 and 2 not necessarily you know the most pretty year I think going to be a little bit up and down but I do think LSU wins the games that they need to win to get in I have Virginia Tech as the 9 seed I do think they get in as an 11 and 2 team the loser of the ACC title game I think this is going to be the story of the year I think they're going to be the team that everyone looks back on this year and says that was the one that I was most excited to watch on Saturdays because they were the big time surprise. They were the Washington or the TCU of this year. Now there is a little bit of hype around Blacksburg right now, but overall, I don't think there's enough people uh, talking about Virginia Tech as we head into this season. Then I got Ole Miss at 10. I do think there's going to be a team that is going to make the college football playoff this year. They are going to sneak in at 10 and absolutely do something that They've been waiting for quite some time to do. I think Lane Kiffin came over there, and there were a number of things to fix when he came in, and he's done a really, really great job. This is the year that everything kind of falls into place. You have a ton of transfers coming in, a really, really talented team, and I think they do reach that goal and get to the playoff this upcoming year. Florida State, I have getting in, which is the big-time one here because I have them finishing, I believe, fourth, maybe third in the ACC, but I do have them beating uh, Notre Dame. I do have them beating Florida, and I have them making enough of the out-of-conference to sneak into this thing, and that's kind of a weird thing. It's going to be one of those questions about the 12-team playoff is just how do they handle that? How do they handle different out-of-conference matchups like Notre Dame, Florida State at the end of the year when maybe Florida State didn't play quite as well in conference? So it'll be very, very interesting to watch. Obviously, Florida State you know, wants to win the ACC and leave no doubt, but I think it'll be a really interesting conversation at the end of the year, but I do have Florida State getting in just slightly over Notre Dame. And then Tulane is my group of five representative. When I talk about the American, I think Memphis is the team that everyone points to, and I tend to as well. But at the end of the day, when I look at this Tulane offense, I think they have so many tools at their disposal. They have so many guys that are going to be ready to roll pretty much from day one, and I do think they're going to have an offense that is just going to be remarkably hard to stop. And they get Memphis at the very last game of the year, so you have time to kind of work out some kinks against some slightly lesser teams and then possibly win the American in the last week of the season you might have to play him again in the American title but at the end of the day I do think Tulane finds their way into this so I have Tulane against Texas I have uh, LSU against Virginia Tech Penn State against Mississippi and Ole Miss against Flo or not Ole Miss Oregon against Florida State so a ton of really really fun matchups in that first round and I do think they're going to go this way. I think, Ella, or I think, let's start with Texas. I do think Texas versus Tulane is a very, very fun matchup. I see Austin, you know, being a really, really fun home for a playoff game at some point this year. And I do think Texas just has too many dudes for Tulane to keep up with. I think this is kind of a pretty benign one among this bunch, so I definitely do think Texas is going to win that game. Oregon against Florida State will be a very, very fun one. This is two really awesome programs that are really building into a meeting place that they've wanted to be for quite some time. You know, both these teams want to compete for a national title this upcoming year, and both teams are building into some really, really special products over the next couple of years, but I do think Oregon's versatility and power on offense is just going to be a little bit too much for 
for them. I think Oregon gets it done and moves on to the next round. I think Penn State faces off against Ole Miss. This one would be in State College, so that obviously would be a huge uh, thing in Penn State's favor, and I think this would be a big-time battle. There's no two ways about that, but when I think about this Ole Miss team, they're going to be able to spread you out and do some things on offense that some Big 12 or Big 10, excuse me, Big 10 teams just really aren't going to be able to do. And I think one of the big things here is when you can get that Penn State team spread out on defense, you have way more ability. There's so many guys on that defense that you don't want to face them, you know, three on one. You want to be able to get those one on one matchups with some of those elite players that Ole Miss has on the outside. And I do think Ole Miss does enough to win that game. Then you have LSU against Virginia Tech, and I absolutely love this matchup. These are the two teams that I'm kind of buying into this upcoming year, and I do think this would be a very high-scoring affair. Neither of these defenses, I think, would really be able to stop the other's offense, and I think this would be a really, really fun matchup. But overall, I do have LSU winning this. Going down to Baton Rouge is just an entirely different game than playing at some of the ACC uh, venues that Virginia Tech will have to. So I'll lean towards LSU in that one, and definitely will be a very, very fun matchup one way or the other but some really really incredible first round matchups I think we're all very excited for those on campus atmospheres that are coming but I do have Texas LSU uh, Ole Miss and Oregon moving on to the second round here but let's get into who I have going to the semis and Georgia faces off against LSU I love this matchup two high powered offenses that don't get to face in the regular season absolutely want to see them face on this stage this would be very very cool and I do think uh, UGA would just have too many guys they would have too much uh, to throw at this LSU defense and create some real problems there's no two ways about that Anthony, frankly, I just think there's going to be too many pitfalls for Bama. I think there's too many questions on that defensive side of the ball where when you face off against an LSU or a Georgia, I just think they're going to stumble in those games. So I'm not necessarily buying into Bama quite as much. You absolutely could slot them in at the LSU or Ole Miss spot, and I wouldn't necessarily argue with you too much, but I do think LSU and Ole Miss will just sneak a little bit ahead of Bama this upcoming year. Ohio State and Ole Miss will be another really, really fun matchup. There's no two ways about that. You have two teams that absolutely have national title on their mind, and I think Ohio State's just going to be a really, really tough team for Ole Miss to match up with because of some of the continuity, because of some of the talent that they have across the board, and Ole Miss is still fitting a lot of guys into some of the boxes. So I do think Ohio State moves on, finds their way into the semis, and then you have Miami against Oregon, and this one would be so awesome. This one would be maybe my favorite matchup of this entire thing because this one would be an absolute battle. Two transfer quarterbacks coming in to teams that absolutely have national title on their mind, and I do think they are going to be very very dangerous this upcoming year I think Oregon comes away with the win the defense I think is going to be really really solid throughout the year and they'll be able to hold Miami the way that they want to Uh, and then you have Texas against Kansas State the Big 12 is still alive. We still be able to get some of these great matchups. Kansas State absolutely wants some revenge for a very, very tough loss in Austin last year against the Longhorns, but overall, I don't necessarily think that they get it. I do think Texas moves on to the semis, and you have the four teams that everyone's talking about going into the year in the semifinal for the playoff this upcoming year. Um, Anthony, I, yeah, I totally understand, and frankly, I've been kind of fighting that battle with myself, if I'm being totally honest. I do think there are going to be a ton of freshmen that are going to have have to make plays for them. It sounds like the defensive tackles are coming along a little bit better than they uh, imagined going into the season, but there are definitely some things I'm betting on to be worked out at LSU that frankly aren't right now. So it's a little bit of me kind of betting on this team and betting on this coaching staff in particular, but I do think they're going to make the number of plays. But if you were to argue with me, there's no two ways that I would absolutely be someone that could absolutely buy into LSU not making that run. So definitely could go either way on that one, but Let's get into the semis. Georgia against Texas. This would be a very, very uh, fun matchup. We might get it for the very uh, the third time. In fact, that's what I'm predicting. We get it for the third time in this semifinal, and the depth is elite on both of them. They, it's going to be an incredible matchup, and regardless of who wins, both these teams are absolutely going to have plenty to say about that national title game, but I do have Texas sneaking this one out. This is kind of my one er that I'm throwing into here. I do think Texas is going to be able to get this done and absolutely be the team that 
kind of shocks the world a little bit and beats that Georgia team, moves on to the national title. Then, Ohio State versus Oregon. This is one that absolutely is going to be a really, really interesting team, and absolutely uh, both these games are going to be incredible to watch. But this is another three-peat. This is another game that you'll be seeing for the third time this upcoming year. And frankly, I tried to talk myself out of it in some ways, but at the end of the day, when I looked at these four teams, they're just on a different level going into this season than pretty much everyone else. So I'm leaning towards, you know, this being a little bit chalk at the end of the year and these teams making it to the semis. But I do think there is going to be a number of different things that kind of break down throughout this uh, these couple of games. And we'll get a really, really fun matchup. But I do have Ohio State and Texas facing off in the national title. I think Ohio State knocks off Oregon for maybe the second or third time, and they find their way into the national title game against Texas. And this would be a classic. There's no two ways about that. These are two really, really uh, historic classic programs. One has had a number of chances lately in Ohio State, but hasn't been able to break through with Ryan Day, at least over the last decade. Texas has been much longer. It's taken quite some time for Texas to find their way back up to the mountaintop, but I think they're there. I think they're ready to roll, and I think they are a team that is going to be able to make that run that they weren't able to make a year ago in the playoff and find their way into the national title and play a really, really good Ohio State team. But who I have coming out on top, I think Ohio State is just on a different level, guys. I, I, you know, It's one of those teams that you go into the season and you're trying to find the issues with it, and it's really hard to find them. Obviously, that quarterback position is going to be a huge one to watch, but frankly, I think Will Howard is going to be really good. Um, I think he's going to be awesome in this, uh, <clears throat> in this Chip Kelly offense, and I think he's absolutely going to make the plays that they need him to make. That defense is going to be out of this world, and they're going to win the first 12-team playoff the same way they won the first four-team playoff. So this would obviously be a very, very interesting story. A little bit, you know, chalk when it comes down to the ratings going into the season, but I just think Ohio State's on a different level, and I think they're coming into this season knowing that they got to win a national title. They got to do a ton of big time things this year. I do think they do that, and I think Ryan Day gets a little bit of the monkey off his back. No, da- no doubt about that. I totally understand not uh, necessarily loving the Texas defense. I, d- I think there are a couple of holes there that absolutely need to be filled. It sounds like fall camp is coming along pretty nicely in that respect, but definitely will be an interesting thing to watch. The Ohio State defense, frankly, I think is just ironclad. I think they're going to be absolutely incredible this year. I do understand there's a couple of things that you would worry about, but overall, I think they're just going to be absolutely ridiculous and frankly, probably be the best team in the, uh, defense in the country. But overall, I do have Ohio State winning the national title. I do have them kind of getting that monkey off their back, dealing with uh, all of the Twitter trolls over the last little bit. Being able to get that national title will be absolutely huge for this program. But let's take our second break here. And when we come back, we're going to break down my picks for Heisman, Belitnikoff, Doak Walker, all of the big-time awards at the end of the season. And we will break them all down right after this. So stick with us. <laughs> 